I think so. Happy Fun Fun Friday, everyone. Actually, we're celebrating big today, aren't we? Oh yeah, it's Fun Fun Friday. It's National Craft Distillery Day, babe. It's basically, it's basically our anniversary. It's like the Super Bowl. <laughs> Except I don't think you can have that now. You're not allowed. Not allowed to have the Super Bowl. Mm -mm. But it is National Craft Distillery Day, so come celebrate with us. I'm Jenny. I'm Jeremy. And we're here at Copper Bottom Craft Distillery in Holly Hill, Florida. How's it going today? It's going. Got a lot going on. You do? Well, back there, yeah. I had a lot going on this morning, too, you know. I had to get my sweat rag today. Oh, gosh. Dry off before Why I came in. Why do you sweat so much? Because it's hot back there. It's probably... I don't know. A a like 95 degrees crisp back there. 75? No, not even close. <laughs> it's, it's a humid 95 probably back there. And it's not even hot outside yet. So this afternoon it'll probably be a moist 100 back there. <laughs> a moist 100. That's, That's a, gross. <laughs> just telling it like it is. You missed quite the dance party this morning, babe. I did? Yeah. I need to go just apologize to a few neighbors. I about to say, you by yourself? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, because. When the kids were home, there was no dance party. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was dancing it up. Fun, fun Friday. Um, and like I mentioned last week, now I have Fridays off for our summer hours at the university I work for. Oh, I'm so living my best life on Friday, y'all. Okay. I feel refreshed. Do you want to make sure we're live? I'm we sure are live. I know, but you're not playing it. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway. All right, tell everybody what you've been up to since you don't care about my dance party. No, I want to hear about your dance party. Let's hear it. Dan no, I dancing have, queen. No, <laughs> I have nothing to say about it other than you missed you missed out. Bruno Mars was there. Oh. Katy Perry was there. Well, that's something. <laughs> and the windows were closed. Don't worry. <laughs> the neighbors so. couldn't see; they could only hear. So, Lindsay, if you're watching, I apologize. Um, we're totally live. So, okay. I know you're working hard back there. Tell everyone, tell the people what you're up to. Well, it's. National Craft Distillery Day, so Nailed it. I'm getting getting ready for everybody to come and buy craft spirits today. I'm assuming there's a line out the door, right? Already? Hint, hint. Yeah, so I don't see you. <laughs> I mean, I know you're. There. You must be there. <laughs> we yeah, open at noon. Open at noon, so come on in. We got all kinds of great craft spirits here for you. Plus, how come you doing? Memorial weekend. Oh, that's probably why they did National Craft Distillery today, so you can like stock up. Stock it up. Mm-hmm. You want yourself a little screwdriver for a nice Monday morning, Memorial morning. Yeah. Orange juice, that's orange juice and vodka. Make yourself a little mojito with some blueberries, some strawberries, get a little red, white, and blue. Clear um, red and blue action. It works. But no, I, um, I picked up some, some barrels yesterday that I'm doing some work on back there right now. So picked up some barrels from Daytona Brewing Company and we're gonna, I'm gonna Rehydrating and getting them all ready to go. So, what kind of barrels are they? Um, Inquiring minds want to know. Um, some beer barrels and some. They're from Heaven Hill originally. They contain some beer. I honestly don't remember what type of beer it was. He's going to tell me because I, I, I don't know. I don't know beer as well as I know spirits. So. And did you say you got a rack? I got a couple racks back there. So, yeah, I'm getting some some racks and some barrels and. Filling them up. That reminds me of that Steve Martin movie. What is it where the little kid asked him, Dad, what's a rack? <laughs> and he said, it's a country. <laughs> There's a dad joke for you. There's a dad joke. Speaking of dad jokes, um, your buddies on 95.7 The Hog this morning were doing pickup lines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some were really funny. Um, hey, you know what's on the menu? No, what? Me and you. Get it? Me and you menu. Oh, uh, see, you have to be able to spell for that. <laughs> Can't do it. So. I couldn't pick you up with that one? Nope. <laughs> nope. I'd just be like, what are you talking about? And then they said one that works every time is, hey, can I buy you a drink? And then she'll say, yeah. And then you're like, oh, sweet. But there's, it's not funny. It just like, it works if you offer to buy a drink. Oh, I was waiting for the punchline on that one. No, no, there, I don't know. I thought that one was funny. They also, well, I'll give it up. I guess <laughs> they're not landing, or maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Um, okay, Amber's here, Crystal's here, Debbie is here. Hey guys, 
Come Corey on, Stapleton. How you doing, Corey? He says, happy National Craft Distillery Day. He knows, babe. He That's knows. what I said. I was celebrating with people. Deborah's here. Marsha, good morning, neighbor. Um, Marsha, did you hear me this morning <laughs> at my dance party? Bruno Mars. You did a post the other day about stickers, and we do, we have stickers, so we have them. So for National Craft Distillery Day, we have stickers here too, so. Ron, we got you covered, buddy. So come grab, come a, by. grab a bottle, grab a sticker. Debbie says, hey, Jenny and Jeremy. What's up, Scott, how you doing? Um, yeah, so these are super cool, and they're like good quality. They're not gonna get all funky on your car. Yeah, I've had mine on my truck for a Quite long, some time. long time. Still looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind of surprised, actually. I should probably put one of these on my vehicle. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. I don't know, I've just never done it. I feel like this is one of those things that falls into the you category. You know, mowing the lawn. So, this doesn't go with dance parties, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, I just can't be responsible for how it's gonna look in the end. I feel like you have the eye where you'd be like oh, cleaning it and like getting it all prepped and ready and then oh, putting it on put with it like on. a, Putting it on with like one of those knife things called to like make sure there's no bubbles. Okay, I didn't know. Whereas I'd be like. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you were waiting on me to do it. If that's the case, then we'll have one on there. Yeah. So. It's the yeah. least you can do, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> so um, what else we got going? Well, stores are starting to open. And I was just talking to a friend of mine this morning who um, works at Hilton here in town, and he said it's packed. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, and prices are through the roof because it's Memorial Weekend and people are flocking. Good. I know. I'm into it. Thanks, y'all. Come see us. Um, so we're not going to be open on Memorial Day. Monday? I, I, don't, I don't know. The woman who's in charge is here. Joanne, we're not open on Memorial Day, right? No. No, we're open. not. So yeah, that'd be good. messed up if we were. Yeah, who's gonna grill? I would never. Yeah, I would never. And once again, normally wouldn't do everything. that. So <laughs> yeah, so we're no, we're not gonna be open on Monday. Um, so, so come today instead of Monday. Okay, so we've got beer barrel rum left. Yep. We've got single. We're going, we're going through it though. Yeah. Yep. Like more than halfway. I'd say we're more about more. Yeah, a little more than halfway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got silver rum. We've got vodka, and we've got the single barrel rum, which is now batch twelve. Is it? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Sorry. Don't yep. freak out. <laughs> yeah, there are people sure. who really are into that. Yeah, no, no. It's still 11. But yeah, we just, just released that one, so we're getting it out there. Um, Jimmy said, you should sell shirts like Jeremy has on. Jimmy, we do. We do, except not the gray ones. Like, this is a gray one. That's an OG. Yeah, there's, we have black ones here, and I usually wear black. Honestly, I've got a couple of these, though, so it was a gray day for me. But yeah, we actually do sell them. Oh, and look. I think I think I'm being Vanna. the wrong one. So <laughs> Vanna White is here. We actually do. Forty nine ninety nine. They're the Dickies brand. They're legit. Oh yeah, they're. And we trust me, we don't make much on these. These things are super expensive to start with. So, but yeah, so we actually we do have them for sale. Who wouldn't want to look like you, babe? Just about <laughs> everybody. So anyway, I am freshly shaved today. I so know. I can tell. The smooth. things I do for Facebook Live. My mom said the party is at our house again on Monday. No, because we have a five-year-old birthday party on, on Sunday, Sunday that you're attending, Grandma. And uh, that's, that's going to be enough. And that's that. <laughs> that's enough at our house. What drinks are appropriate for a five-year-old birthday? Five-year-old's not going to know. Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> juice boxes and rum. <laughs> for us, not the five-year-old. No, no, side. juice boxes for the five-year-old, oh, rum for us. There it is, got that's it. That's what I'm saying. Um, Mark, did you ever come in to get your shirt? He won our last contest. He said he lives around the corner, and I said, come on by, pick yourself out a shirt. We're waiting on you, man. Yeah, come on in. We, and actually, we're getting, well, don't, we're actually getting more in today. I just went to our supplier, and they have some coming. They said they should be done this afternoon, so tomorrow would be a good time. If you want to come pick one, we should have all the sizes and pretty much all the stuff. So. And we'll take a cute picture of you in your new shirt and post it everywhere. Well, that'll make them rush in. <laughs> um, Nicole says the beer barrel rum was delicious. It, really, all caps. it really is. Um, I've liked it I'm a lot. I'm a big fan of that. We're also, another thing we're doing, I know, I think we kind of hinted on it last time. Um, about the, do we hint about the what we were doing with the, the honey and stuff? Hi, we've got a visitor. 
We did not. I can't I believe you're about to just start talking about this with no like build up. This you, is my life's work. No, no, no. You literally do this to me every single week. You start talking about things that I don't think we're ready to talk about and you talk about them. I'm not ready to talk about this one, but I do kind of love her. So maybe we should. Aaron from Ormond B Company. Show them, babe. Just show them. Just tell them everything. No, so we're gonna we're gonna do something kind of cool. Um, we've got we've got some local honey coming. Um, actually, probably coming today sometime. So we've got some local honey coming, and we're gonna do a very very small run, mostly just a test run uh, for of a honey spirit. Um, but we're gonna have some local honey coming in. We're gonna do that, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm very excited about it. So honey, to me, some girls are shoe girls or purse girls. And you're not, you're saying that you're not a shoe girl? Because I feel like you are. I just love honey. Your mom is entertaining right I here. <laughs> I just love honey so much. And I especially love Ormond Bee Company honey. So yeah. she's bringing some by. We're going to test it out. We're going to see how it goes. A honey spirit. We've actually done this before with another beekeeper. It was a few years back. And I savor that like, it, like nothing. And Jeremy aged it even. This could be the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, no, so I'm pretty excited about this, so. Ormond Bee Company, look her up. Yeah, Aaron, check her out, she's, she's, awesome. got, she's got stuff all around this area, she's got stuff out all over the place. Um, so check her out, but we're gonna be doing a collaboration with her, some of her local honeys, and we're gonna, we're gonna make a mead and distill it and see what comes out. I'm pretty excited about it. Is that what you say, we're gonna make a mead and then we'll distill it? I just keep telling people it'll be a honey spirit. It is a honey spirit. When it's done, it's a honey spirit, but you have to start by making a mead. I know, but I think you could be confusing the people. Am I confusing you? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you literally... We're have, not making okay, mead. We're not making way. mead. We're going to ferment honey, and I'm going to make a spirit out there of it. There it is. Right there. Um, you said, Jer oh, I did say that you're grilling on Memorial Day. So that's why my mom thinks that they're oh, invited. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'll be grilling. Doug says all drinks are appropriate for a five-year-old birthday party. I feel like... No, I think he's right. I feel like, yes, the kids are excited to come to the party, but really, um, it's probably the parents. Yeah, I'm ready. The parents are like, hey, make friends with the couple, the couple's kid that owns the distillery. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you get that birthday invite. Yeah, and then they come to our house and they're like, wait a second. <laughs> Every ounce that we have goes into the distillery. The house gets nothing. Okay. Um, all right. Ormond Bee Company. Let's yeah, so we're going to be doing that so very soon. We're going to be doing that. So that's going to be fun. I'm excited about that. We've got hand um, sanitizer still. Still have hand sanitizer. Um, so come on out. We're, we're working like some pretty potentially cool things with that hand sanitizer too. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm um, actually very excited about a couple of things. Maybe coming up with that. But yeah, so we've got uh, honey stuff coming. We've got some hand sanitizer stuff coming. I got some barrels from Daytona. So yeah, we're pretty excited here. Some cool things. I got a phone call this morning from my cousin who works at a local, like small private school here in town. And she said, you're in my yearbook. <laughs> I was in my own yearbook quite a bit actually, but we were in their yearbook. They highlighted like um, locals doing cool things for the, um, for the virus so like, we, situation. So really? we, yeah, we made it in the tail end of their yearbook. And even just as cool as the local private school, my grandma called the other day. This is kind of cool. Um, my grandma called and she was so excited to tell me that she just left Publix and at the last minute she thought to grab a Women's World magazine. Women's World. Yeah, I would have never picked that up, so nope. glad she did. Yep, and she said um, she opened it up and on the front page was our picture. Hey. Women's so, World. Women's World, we're there. Look Women's World. <laughs> no, it was, it was a very kind story that they did. And Should that be got... the last time I'm in Women's World? <laughs> Probably. Um, but anyway, you open it up and we're right there. We're like center, table of contents, page like 1B. Um, and then there's a full out, full page story about what... Is it 1B, just page 2? I don't know. I'm just, I've always wondered that. Like, 